Behold his love. Crossbearing, the servant of all. It was the day of preparation of Passover week, about the sixth hour. Here is your king, Pilate said to the Jews. But they shouted, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the chief priests answered. Finally, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. John nineteen, fourteen to 17 The cross was thrown down at Jesus' feet as if to imply, you are fit only to carry our burdens. You are everybody's servant. Jesus bore the cross as if he deserved it. Not content to stand with us, shoulder to shoulder, as our brother, he became our servant and burden bearer. No one else would have done this in a world that prefers status to service. No one could be found to take up the unspeakable burden of sin, the accumulation of humanity's wrongdoing. Supposing such a person existed, would they have been capable of bearing it? What was to be done with this colossal burden? Jesus was the only one up to the task. At last humanity had someone upon whom they could unload anything and everything. Jesus had come, the servant of all. Lord Jesus, I worship you for going to Calvary. When you died on the cross, you put to death my fear of suffering. Thank you for showing me the salvation, healing and blessing that lie hidden in the cross. For all who believe in your victory, you have won a love of the cross. Thank you for revealing to us its hidden treasures and giving us a share in its glory. With all my heart, I thank you. Amen.